Planning a hunt can be difficult. Researching said hunt can also be difficult, but it definitely does not have to be. So we created a tool that will make your life a lot easier. Get rid of all those headaches. Get rid of all those notepads that you've had, trying to compare different hunts, trying to make a, a, a solid plan for this coming year, the next year, and the future. So that tool that we created is called Hunt Planner. So Hunt Planner is available only to insiders. You can find it in multiple different ways on the website. I'm just gonna walk you through in a quick example right now to show you how I use Hunt Planner and how powerful it can be. Because like I said, it'll allow you to now save units or save seasons on the unit. So I could have a folder called 2023 you know, Mule Deer. Start saving those seasons. I can add notes to those seasons. I can compare them side by side, which is a feature I know a lot of you guys have been asking about for a long time. So this tool is very, very powerful. And like I said, it helps you plan. So if you're a new hunter, trying to also get into this on um, you know western hunting can be very confusing a new hunter is going to benefit greatly by using hunt planner because again you can just start developing that plan for this year and you have your elk plan you have your mule deer plan an experience hunter again no more headaches of having to have multiple things open at the same time multiple documents notepads scratch paper google doc wherever it may be hunt planner eliminates so the exact way I like to use Hunt Planner is by using filtering 2.0 because I can save those seasons that I get excited about when I'm doing my research. So we're planning a hunt right now. It's application season. Jump over filtering 2.0. I'm looking to find a mule deer hunt right now. So I'm going to go into Nevada, for example. I'm going to click on mule deer, and now you're going to see all the list of units that are available to me. So right now, let's say I'm doing a bunch of research, manipulating my filters and filtering 2.0, and I get to a season that starts to excite me a little bit. So for example here, I'm just gonna put, you know, trophy potential 170 or better, harvest success, we're gonna go, maybe we'll go 10%. Public land, let me crank it all the way up to 46%. So I have a few filters here, so now I'm, I'm down to 59 results. So let's say I'm scrolling down through here, reading a bunch of these seasons, checking all this data, you know, just scrolling through, just checking it out. All of a sudden, I get to some units that start to excite me, and I want to save those seasons. I want to create my hunt plan. This is now where I start to, to, to uh, do my hunt plan. So, for example, I found this unit right here in the middle, unit 051. I'm looking at an archery hunt. I look at the, the trophy potential, buck doe ratio, uh, percent four point or better, public land percentage. This is units excites me, and back in the day, I would have to take a pen or jump into a Google Doc and write that down because I have no way to save it. Let's say I'm researching tonight, I want to research, you know, in two weeks from now, how do I get back to that same information? Well, now you see here on filtering 2.0, there's a little save feature under every single season. I'm going to click save. Now it's going to pop up on this little screen in the middle, save season to a hunt. So now I want to create my first folder in Hunt Planner. So I'm going to create a new hunt. I'm going to name this 2023 Nevada, if I can spell right, mule deer. And there it is. Okay. So now you'll see I have that folder saved, 2023 Nevada Mule Deer. I'm gonna click on it, and I'm gonna click done. And now you'll see on the right side here, that saved is now outlined in black. So I've saved that season. Let's say I also have another unit I'm really enjoying in here. I'm just gonna scroll, I'm picking random units out. We'll pick 068, because that's right next door to that unit. And again, the archery season. I like that unit, I'm gonna click save. And now again, you'll see 2023 Nevada Mule Deer is one of my hunt folders in Hunt Planner. Tap it. Click done. Again, that's saved. So now we're going to jump into actual hunt planner and we'll show you the real power of it. So I'm going to go over here to tools, go to hunt planner. Once you go to hunt planner, now now you see the screen looks a little bit differently. You'll see hunt planner at the top and now I have a little folder right here that says 2023 Nevada Mule Deer. And there's a bunch of different views you can do in here. I can still create a new hunt plan in here if I want to, but I already have that one saved. So let's say you have all these different states, all these different species. You can keep going with different folders for every species, every state, whatever you want to do, you can make this your own. That's the biggest thing about it. No headaches anymore, and it's all right here in Insider. And views, I can have it in the view like this, or I can do the column view. Depending on what you're looking at, if you have a bunch of folders, it might be useful to change the view on it, but you can change views right here. You can sort it by last updated, alphabetical, created, whatever you need to do. I'm going to jump into my hunt planner. So now you see the screen looks a little bit different again. Shows when I created this hunt, hunt plan, shows the name, and it shows my two seasons. If I want to customize this a little bit, I can go over here, I can click edit, I can change the name. And what's kind of cool is you can actually change the photo at the top, at the top of, the, of your hunt planner. 
So I can upload my own photo. Let's say I have some scouting photos or whatever in this unit. Maybe it was a, a hunt plan for a specific unit or group of units, and I want to throw my own photo. Or we can just go in here and select one of our you know standard photos. So I'm going to select you know just a mule deer. Hunt plan is successfully updated. You'll see I have a mule deer image at the top now. Now here you can see the overview tab. There's a seasons tab. And there's a notes tab. So under the overview tab, you'll see I have these two seasons listed right here. I can click view details and it's going to jump me over into the seasons. So right at the top, well, let's talk about first, you can actually rank these units. So let's say I'm getting to the point where I want to apply for these units in Nevada. And let's say 051, yeah, I thought that was great at first, but now, you know, 068 is looking a little bit better. I can jump in here and make 051 my second choice. So this was really great when, uh, you know, Nevada, you get five choices. I can have all five units in here, compare them, and I can start putting my five choices of how I'm going to apply in Hunt Planner. And then down below right here, you can see I can, I can look at the public land in every unit. I can scroll my screen down further, and I'm kind of comparing in the same view as I'm looking at it. And then, you know, right below every season, there's a link to Nevada State website, NDAO, where I can go and apply. That's a really cool feature, too, because if you're you know, new to a bunch of these states, going to the state website, sometimes it's hard to land on the actual application area. We have that right there for you. One thing that is very, very powerful that I want to point out as well, let's say I have a bunch of different filters selected, you know, public lands a certain way, trophy potential, draw odds, points, harvest success. All those filters are, you know, adjusted. Back in the day when you do that and then stop your session, close your internet, shut down the computer, whatever it may be, and start over again, all those filters are reset. With this, once you save all these seasons to a hunt planner, there'll be a link right in the middle that says back to filtering results. If I click that, it's going to now take me back to filtering 2.0 with the exact filter settings. That's huge. So I just showed you that example. I'm going to jump back into the hunt planner and walk through the rest of the features. I've had a mule deer around the season level. Okay, I want to add a note. Let's say I started doing a bunch of planning, a bunch of research. I was reading our application strategy and something was struck me as very interesting. Or maybe I was, you know, talking to a buddy who had hunted there, called a biologist, wherever it may be, start to, you know, pick up information on this unit. I want to add it to here. I don't want to have it on a scratch piece of paper, scratch piece of paper that I lose. I don't want to have it in a, you know, a document on the internet that I forget about or accidentally delete. It's all right here. I want to add a note on the season. Let's say this note is going to be, uh, I don't know, research to dive into further, whatever it may be. And I say like, oh yeah, uh, person X told me big bucks hang out near blank ridge. You get what I'm saying? You can just start adding notes. You can also add different hyperlinks. Let's say you want to, you know, add a hyperlink in here for an app strategy. I could just paste the link in there. Like this is your area to do whatever you want with a bunch of notes at every season level. I can save this note. And you can see that is saved right here. It has a timestamp on it. I can edit that. I can delete it. I can also go down below, add another note to the other season. You can see here where this is start to get very, very powerful over time when you start doing your research and start adding information to Hunt Planner. It makes things so much easy to keep track of everything that you've researched so far when trying to make a hunt plan. And then under each folder too, I can do a master note area and just do note under this folder. So it's not gonna be attached to the season, it's gonna be the master folder. I can do the same thing. Um, research data. This is my 2023 hunt plan. Researching blank units, blah, blah, blah. You can continue going with that save note, save it. So now under the season two, if I had a bunch of these here and I wanna compare them a little bit easier because Obviously right now I have two of them, so it's a little easier to see in the screen. But if I had a bunch of these U or seasons saved on Hunt Planner, I want to compare them all. So I tap on compare. Now at the bottom of the screen, you'll see these units are starting to be selected on the bottom of the screen. I want to click on view comparison on the lower right corner. It's going to jump me to a view that I can compare exact from one unit to the next. So these units are bordering each other. That's why I try to pick a unit that are bordering each other. Maybe the draws are going to be different between the two. Maybe they're going to be very similar, or maybe there's something striking that using this compare feature would be like, wow, this unit's a little bit harder to draw, and this unit's very easy to draw, but has similar similar features that are you know called out on here that's gonna make that a better hunt for me. So I wanna do that right now, rather than sitting on the bench and not hunting. So I'm just going through here, I can see unit 068, 051, 23 Harvard success, 33. You can see the season dates. You can see percent four point or better, 
you can see buck doe ratio. So now like comparing and contrasting, so far, you know, this one unit is starting to lean a little bit more heavy on the data side than the other. Public land's also leaning one way. Trophy potential is the same. Now I want to jump into the unit profile. I have unit profile links at the bottom too. Boom, now I can jump into the unit profile. I don't have to go back to filtering 2.0, start over again. All this stuff is right there at your fingertips. And that's why this hunt planner is so powerful for a new user or experienced user. Something you're definitely gonna to wanna to jump into and experiment on and just dive in and start adding notes, saving seasons, um, ranking your units, you know, doing state by state research or doing you know, species by species research. This is all up to you and how you wanna run it. And it's all there on Insider Account. So Hunt Planner is a very valuable tool. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any questions, as always, definitely drop them in the comments below. There's an article on the website as well as going to accompany this. So if you have questions how to use this tool or different tips and, ta and tactics that you want to hear from us, we are glad to dive into it further. So Hunt Planner, very valuable. Like I said, there's so many different ways to use it. So best of luck this year. And